Today we'll be visiting the American Girl Place in LA, The Grove. They will be moving real soon, so this will be the last vlog from The Grove. Come with us on, on a Focus on the Cute! street from the American Girl Place and we filmed this vlog Saturday April 9th 2022 so a couple days ago just wanted to let you guys know seeing that they're closing and all what it looks like if you're curious or if you want to make your last trip down there the American Girl Place in Los Angeles to grow will be closing for the last day is April 16th Saturday the day before Easter so get on down there and take your picture with um, your doll and yourself in that beautiful star there in the front now we're going to look at the right side of the building where they have all the fun dolls on display. You see them, you see different characters. I really like how they change this out. And I really cool how they're mirrored so you can see it from the outside of the store and the inside. Cute. Here's the huge display window which they usually fill with a Christmas display, a huge girl of the year display. And it's very interesting because this store has been open for almost 16 years, since 2006, which is a long time and I'm really glad that they stayed open that long and that they're not leaving Los Angeles completely because I know a lot of stores have just closed in that certain location permanently and they didn't move or anything and I think that's really sad. Here we are on the inside of the store and we see a sign that says we're moving. They will be moving to Westfield, Century City, so don't worry AG lovers and doll collectors on may the 2nd they will be opening up a pop-up store unfortunately they won't have a doll hospital curbside there will be no shipping no cafe and most of uh, they will not have a phone so we will not be able to find out if they have this doll or that doll etc but in november in the same location westfield century city they will be opening up a big store similar to the one in New York so we're looking forward to that and I'm sure everybody that is in California or coming to California will be looking forward to that yeah I think it's really exciting that we don't have to wait too long to visit an AG store in California so they will have that pop-up store and then when we get the main store it'll be open right before Christmas hopefully if everything goes as planned I think that's awesome and we did a little research on Google Maps. It is 20 minutes away from this location, give or take traffic. So I think that's really cool. It's not too much further away. If you drive, it's pretty good. And I think it's really exciting that we're going to get a bigger storm. So hopefully it's bigger and better. And it'll be a fancier. And I just can't wait to see it in person. And hopefully we will be able to film those vlogs and take a trip to the pop-up and the regular big store. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below so you won't miss that. We do love covering the Los Angeles store for American Girl. It's really fun and that's the store that's closest to us. We do have to drive a few hours, but it's really fun to take a trip and see things in person. Mm -hmm. And this, we're just kind of taking a tour around the store. Some of the items were kind of, like they had a few empty shelves, which we'll show you throughout this video. So if you want to see like a full tour of everything in the shelves, we did do a full American Girl Place Los Angeles tour for the Grove and I'll put that in iCard up above. So here we have the room where the Truly Me dolls are. We have a salon. We also have the Girl of the Year or whatever is new on the left of the, the back wall type of thing. We did have a few items on sale. They did say we have it, they're having a moving sale but unfortunately the only things that were on sale were mostly from online like the Last Chance Outlet online or items that were part of the monthly sale online as well. So nothing like specifically for the store, they just had mostly stuff from online. But they did have a lot of outfits left and a lot of sale items left. Like that hockey outfit was $60, it was originally $75. All three of these Team USA outfits are all on sale. The snowboarder and the alpine skiing set are both $23. They were originally $75. That's a 69% off. I think those are great deals. The figure skating outfit is $11 and that wasn't in stores but you can find it at the Last Chance Outlet online. You can actually find all three of them. I think that's a great deal. Yeah, I think the Team USA outfits are, are really cute and they have a lot of pieces so that is an amazing deal. Unfortunately, though, the, the ice skating outfit was not at the Grove store. Just the skiing and the... Um, Snowboarding. Snowboarding, thank you, yes. And here we have another display with the dolls in school. Adorable. I really like how they add different things that they don't sell, which is very interesting. 
they don't sell these some of these items like this shelf they don't sell and the poster in the back I really think it's cool to look at the displays for maybe photography ideas for your mm -hmm. dolls yeah the they also have this huge, huge window display, which is always changed usually, like, for, like kind of, not frequently, but every once in a while. They didn't change it from our last visit, but I think it's really cute. I love how the doll is going to eat a noodle, and there's a bunch, there's a stuff, bunch of stuff going on. I love that bookshelf. I love that there's a little animal thrown in there as well. I think it's so cute. I do, too. I like how they um, are also... You can get a lot of ideas from the setups for your own doll photography and everything. So I think their uh, displays are really cute. Yeah, I really like how much is going on in that scene. Like someone's drinking tea, someone's changing the baby. We have three pets. The dog there. is wearing Courtney's short shirt. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> and someone's cooking over there. And I really like the little shelf for the picked photos and the little cookbooks. And you have like. Just so many details in there. I think that's really cute. Whoever set these pouring things up the is tea. so cute. Yeah, I love pouring the tea too. I think that's cute. We're going to kind of move out from that area and we see more window displays. Kind of smaller cubes. Here's like a, I think this is a cabin with the World by Us couch. Here you have a coffee shop scene. You have Kira and Corinne on the back wall right now. It's interesting because Kira is... Her year was 2021, but she's still available. I know that the dolls are being still available after their year's over. Plus, she also got another outfit. They did not have that at the store, but I think it's interesting that she's still getting outfits, so I'm wondering what that's about and if mm -hmm. that'll continue with Corinne or not. I love how they put Corinne, Corinne in the um, Chinese New Year outfit. I think that's so cute. Also, here's the doll salon, and you also had the, the create your own dolls, the display dolls, those were gone, they were taken down, I think because they didn't want you to create your own doll right before they were closing, because then you'd had problems, you know, getting it. Mm -hmm. Here is a little setup for the birthday cafe, I think that's adorable. They had a few new setups since we were last there. Here's a better look at the back wall. I really like when they have like those pop out type of like, Displays. wall decor yeah like a decor on top mm -hmm. of each character and they kind of put stuff from their story or part of their stuff i think that's cool here's a look at the truly me lineup right now we have this case full of truly me dolls and the other case has more cuff dolls with colorful hair this is kind of the neutral like the natural hair colors and it's really cool to take a look at this because this is kind of an array of every single number they have because sometimes it can be confusing. You're like, whoa, and you want to decide which number you want. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of empty displays, so just be prepared for this if you go on Saturday. Yeah, a lot of empty displays as well as items that are missing. So I think mm -hmm. they're just not they're just not restocking the items once they're gone. Here we have another display. Where they're, she, they're doing their hair and nails. I think that's so cute. And the dog is stealing a cookie. I like how the milk is spilled or the, I guess, strawberry milk. Yeah, I think that's adorable little detail. And I mean, sometimes pets steal our food. That's totally realistic. <laughs> and then you don't find out until later. Here we also have the other case of Truly Me dolls. I really like that 92 was added to the lineup. The, so the street cheek is added in there with the Truly Me dolls. I think, I, I, I think that's helpful because you're, sometimes you might not go in a certain section, but if you look at the Truly Me dolls, you can see, oh, okay, or you might not know what number a certain doll is, so, as, as a parent. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> or a grandparent. Here we're going to look at the, a closer look at the doll salon. Yeah, you can the, you can get your doll's ears pierced, and this is where you would uh, pay not pay for it, but you would pay for it up front, and then go ahead and get your doll's ears pierced here, or your the doll's ears done. Yeah, and you could also get maybe your doll cleaned as well. Have mm -hmm. a little spa day for the doll, which is cute. And there's a lot of chairs you can even watch them do it, and I think that's really cool. They also have Wally Wisher hairstyles, American Girl hairstyles. It's really cool. I think that's really neat to do if you want to, maybe you don't want to buy anything, you can just get your doll's hair done. I think that's really sweet. Or sometimes if your doll's hair is messed up, like they will recurl it for you and fix it. It looks amazing. Here are the earring sets that they have right now. The Shooting Stars earring set on the left and the Stars 
and hoop earring sets on the right. Also, Welly Wishers can get their ears pierced now. I keep forgetting that they done they did that. That is so cool that all the dolls can get their ears pierced. Here we also have a hairstyle for Kira. I wonder why they didn't do a hairstyle for Corinne. It's interesting because Kira did not have a hairstyle when you get the meat doll. She just had her hair down. So I think that was interesting that they gave her a hairstyle. I think Corinne should have gotten like a unique hairstyle, but oh well. Uh, maybe they'll do it later. Yeah, maybe. So I think it's cool when they do hairstyles for certain characters. And those are all also extra charges. You have to ask the person there well, how much each one is. Here we are by the escalator. And there's a little setup for Corinne. This table usually holds a lot of the bigger items. Right now we have Corinne's little ski bedroom set type of thing. It is a lot bigger in person. I saw it online and I was like, hmm, that's pretty big. But then in person you're like, whoa. <laughs> Right now it is 20% off at the filming of this video. So check that price online. It's in the monthly sales mm -hmm. page. And I think that's really cool that's already on sale. So if you want to use your awards partly on that. Or you just want to, you know, save a little bit. Especially on shipping. Because you get it for free shipping and then it's on sale. Here is Corinne skiing down. I really like that. That's so cute. Here we have her at the ski shop. I love how they use the Olympic outfit for the other doll. I think it's cool seeing this in person. I really wish that they would make Corinne's accessories separate from the room. It would be really nice to get her food and a little cute fluffy chair. They should definitely sell a supplemental kit for Corinne or any other doll they're adding thing, little items to. I think a lot of people would like that. I know I would. I think that would be really cool. Now we're going to go upstairs and check out the Love Shack Fancy display first. This just was absolutely beautiful. We didn't go when they released Love Shack Fancy officially, but it's really nice to see it anyways. It was beautiful how they set it up. So many shabby chic items, lace, flowers, beautiful. Just gorgeous. They Unfortunately, they don't have any more of the catalogs for shabby chic, but they do have a pamphlet there. Yeah, super sad. I didn't even get mine in the mail for Love Shack Fancy. Oh, well, what can you do? Here they have this really cool shabby chic cabinet and a doll's in there holding a paper doll and they just have roses along everything and uh, I really like the way this cabinet looks and I like how they put like paper that matches the dresses inside the doors. Nice. Beautiful dresses for girls all hanging up looking pretty. It was a really nice display and I just love all the flowers. That's my favorite part of it. I like how they had various teacups with roses in them. I know, that's so cool cute. too. <laughs> and then they have American Girl Love Shack Fancy Spring Must Haves Made to Match. And I really love the vine of roses climbing up the wall. And as well as this bow that's huge hanging mm -hmm. in the window. I think they did a really excellent job with this. I hope they do this a similar display at the new place. Yeah, and I think if they have more space that maybe their displays will be like this all the time. I think that'd be cool. And they have dolls in the cubby sitting in grass by like flowers or a basket and then all the items below that are able to purchase. The only thing we didn't see was the sandals. And I think it's just beautiful how they set this up. I keep saying that but it really did look amazing in person. Even on camera it looks beautiful. I just love how the, they did that and they put a lot of effort into it. The so, scooter is a nice touch also. Yeah, she's like, wee, I'm going to ride in style. <laughs> Here we have the historical character room. We'll be in, going in there all later on in this video, so stay tuned for that. Here we have the wall where Corinne was set up. Kira used to be there. They did not put up a Corinne type of poster above. It's still Kira, but she still had her set up here, and they're showing the series from AG Tube on there. You also still have Kira poster and her Outback tent. And her be her friend behind her, Alexis, who should have been the girl year, in my opinion, because she's adorable. Me too. Maybe we'll make her in a crate year own. Yeah, I think that's cool. And I think I think she has such a cute idea. Like, why didn't they do that? But Kira's cute too. What can you do? And here we have more current items, empty shelves. We kind of have the world by us as well as Welly Wishers in this area and a little the coffee shop displayed. And also the coffee shop is a great piece. I mean, you don't, I mean, I know nine-year-olds don't drink coffee. <laughs> um, 
well, some, some nine-year-olds do, but you can also have it as hot chocolate. I mean, let's face it, you know, you take your kids to go get coffee. Come on, if you get coffee. <laughs> Okay, so they so they understand what what you know. And it's actually on sale as well for yeah, the month twenty percent off. Yep. A lot of the big items are twenty percent off right now. So this is the time to get those Christmas items early. And here we have the World by Us. They had the HFR outfits. We did review Yvette's outfits, both of them on our channel. We'll put the eye card up above. They did not have her floral duster outfit. And for some reason, they were also out of Maritza dolls. Well, I guess it's because they're not stocking. So they ran out. They ran out. It's so sad because she's such a cute doll. So you would have to get her online or when they open later. <laughs> Mm -hmm. She's a really adorable doll. And then next to the World by S display, you have the Welly Wishers. It looks like they had a few items gone. Not too many items, but a few. They look adorable. I don't care for the new outfits. I really do like the older outfits. That's unfortunate. That's yeah, a side note. That's another thing, yeah, that they changed. I, I didn't like that either. Here is the lineup of the girl, every girl of the year they've ever made. Here we have Lindsay. She was the first. I like that they tell you a little bit about each one just in case you got into American Girl at a later time so you can kind of know who they are. And also if you're buying the doll on a secondary market, you can also see what the doll look like. Yeah, you can use this as a guide to their outfit, their hairstyle, or just like who they were and what year they were from because sometimes it's hard to remember every year they're from. You're like, who was that again? And we had Nikki in the beginning of the video. Yeah, so that was Nikki. She's very special because she was the first doll I took to an American Girl store when I was younger. And she and I remember someone going, wait a minute, she's retired. <laughs> <laughs> and it was really a cool experience to go with Nikki. And it's just really fun to take a doll with you when you're going to the cafe or if you're just walking around with your little doll. It's cute. I really think these dolls look absolutely pristine. I love how each one has their original hairstyle and their original accessories as well as their original outfit. And I just think they're adorable. Kanani here is one of my favorite Girl of the Year dolls ever because of her long hair and her long, beautiful curls. They really should make dolls with longer hair. Come on, AG, like, do more of that. <laughs> I'd love to see that. Here's Sage, another cutie. Isabel, they're all cute. I love Isabel's face. They're all adorable. And uh, here we have Grace, another famous one. I really liked her collection. I love the Paris theme. I love her little freckles. We have Leah. She's adorable as well. Her collection was not my favorite, but I do think the doll was very pretty. And I think she's a gorgeous doll. Here we have Gabriella. Unfortunately, she was Recycled. infamous for her being looking like a truly neat doll. And here we have Luciana. She a, has a space theme. I really love those boots. Those are my favorite boots from AG. Like, I love when they do colored boots. Here we have Blair. Her collection is one of our absolute favorites, like the whole collection. We Definitely. love the whole collection. Sometimes when Girl of the Year's come out, you only like a few pieces, but for Blair, it was everything. It was a beautiful collection. And last but not least, we have Joss from 2020. Poor Joss. She was a cutie, too. I love her, her new face mold and her hair, as well as her adorable tiny little hearing aid. Yeah, I thought I like that, that was really cool. Here we have the Bitty Baby and Willy Wisher Room, as well as the elevator to go back down if you want, if you don't want to take the escalator. They had a few things missing from the Bitty Baby, as well as Willy Wishers. Here you can actually go inside the playhouse. It was closed in our last vlog because of the situation going on in the world and, you know, masking and everything, so they didn't want anyone to go in there. They opened up a lot of the displays that they did close. And I think it's cool that you can interact, and I hope there's lots of other things to interact with the new store. Yeah, I think that's fun for parents and kids. This is just an overview of the room, just different little things. I, I think this uh, room, I really enjoy the Willy Wisher and the Bitty Babies together because that's great. Because, you know, if you have a younger child and also a one that's a little bit older, they can kind of look around and, and see what they would like and play around in there. Yeah, and it's in the same room, so it's in the same vicinity mm -hmm. of each other, and you can kind of just look at both. Maybe your, your child might be interested in baby dolls, or maybe when they get a little bit older, they want a Wally Washer, which is, it's kind of like an 18-inch doll, but smaller. Mm -hmm. And they did have a few babies missing, but they still had some b options for you to get. I really love their new outfits. They look adorable with their new onesies. 
And I think the Wally Wisher was the one that was most cleared out. They cleared out the huge display that they had. Again, we did do a tour of the store and that was in that video. So check that out if you want to see all the displays they had. They cleared out a lot of Wally Wisher stuff. And then on the other side, you can see more shelves that are missing from Biddy Baby. So there's a lot of empty shelves right now. Yeah. Which I was like shocked, but then I was like, oh, it is a few days before closing, so, you know, they're just... It was a week before. Yeah, so they're trying to, like, I guess sell whatever is there, and then once that's gone, they don't restock it. Here's the new boxes for the Lily Wishers as well, some of the items they had left. They're really cute dolls. I hope they make them more outfits. I really love it when they do, like, flowery items or, or like, just really nice... I like their theme. Their theme is like garden party type of thing. Yeah, and being garden outside and, and just being, being outside. Outdoors. Yeah. Now we're gonna see the truly me room, the big one upstairs, of course. This was a little sad going in here. A lot of shelves were empty. A lot of cubes were empty. No more displays. So sad. Yeah, it's really kind of a bummer. But also glad to see that you know that it's not. You know, it's not goodbye for now. It's it's just goodbye for now. It's not forever. Mm -hmm. They will be in another store. Here we have a Kwanzaa and a doll in a Hanukkah outfit. They look adorable. We have a few more empty displays. We have a couple outfits. They also had a couple Truly Me dolls out of stock. And uh, they had a few left that you could buy, but some of them were not there anymore. It was interesting to see the shelves empty. I have not seen that many shelves empty, like, ever, I don't think. And across the way as well, there were empty shelves. The pets are gone. They had a few pets left. I love this little tree with the koala there. Oh, it's so cute. And, it's cute. Uh, the little kangaroo as well. Mm -hmm. I wish Kira's co baby koala was able to buy I separately. Know. I, I know. Here it's we so have some dolls slaying cards. And just, uh, there's a few displays left, so you can kind of look around. It is mostly... Empty. empty it's just shocking i mean it shocked us when we went in there it was just shocking to see here's a she yeah here's another love shock fancy setup mm -hmm. adorable they did manage to continue the roses even in this room that's smaller they did they tried to make it look beautiful and it does look great and i think they look so cute and i just love this whole display of i just love looking at pink and roses. Roses is gorgeous. <laughs> and there's our uh, uh, Street Cheek. Street Cheek ladies. We have four now. Before there was only three. I know some people are kind of, you know, some people like it, some people don't. That's okay though, you know, whatever, whichever dolls you like. I think it's cool because I personally am never going to turn my whole head blue, like my, all my hair. <laughs> so I think it's cool that I can have a doll that has that because I'm never going to do that. And I think that's cool to dress the doll completely in blue hair. And I think it's kind of cool because she can look kind of Star Wars from another, like, another little, like, a sci-fi thing. I think that's cool. I think that, yeah. And number 92 it. also looked really cute in person. Definitely. They did have a few of those street cheek on this side. 92 is the new girl who joined the ladies. And more empty cubes. Lots of empty she shelves and cubes. As you walk, it's just like... It was just like disheartening, but at the same time good because they're gonna help get a bigger location. So yay, but also no, because <laughs> there are lots of memories. Well, at you the have store. a lot of time to save your money. Yes, you November. do. That's true. Yes, but the pop up can ruin your money saving. The create your own is closed. Also. Yeah, the create your own is closed. That's on the left. They took all the dolls that were on display down as, and they shut down the tablets and put a rope there so you can't order it because that would be kind of weird ordering and then oh my doll arrived to a closed store. That's bad. <laughs> and then here's another overview of just stuff empty. The emptiness. Oh my gosh. And it's just sad, but it's just sad when you think about all the memories. But it's good that they're, again, that they're staying. Here's some more sale pieces. This is girl clothes, books, a few other things. Another empty wall. Yeah, they usually have like souvenir items for the Los Angeles store, like the little t-shirt that Nikki was wearing in the beginning of the video. Or like bags to carry your dolls, mm -hmm. stuff like that. Here we have the historical room. There were a few empty things in this, like a lot of the cube shelves. They took down the mini dolls. Oh. And they did have a few in each, uh, like each section they had emptiness. <laughs> Here in the, all the historical area where they kind of were storing some, uh, most of the historical stuff, and kid dolls that is completely empty 
But we still have the windows on display still there, which is great. I wanted to take a closer look before they close. And I'm wondering, also, I'm very curious to see what they're going to do in the new store for the historicals. And I'm wondering also, I have a feeling that they won't do Kit anymore because Kit is cubed, so she probably won't have a section at the new store. Mm -hmm. That's just my guess. So if you want to see Kit's section, I would suggest uh, going down there or taking a look at our video because I think we covered it all in here. Yeah, I really love this setup. I like that she has a chicken feed sack dress and her chicken, and I think that's so cute. Next up is Rebecca, 1914. Here's a little cubby. Uh, a few things are missing. Her bed. I mean, it looks basically bare in there. Yeah, and a few of her outfits. I think Rebecca's adorable. And I do like a lot of her outfits. I really like a lot of these uh, historical outfits. I love historical dolls. They really just don't get enough attention. Sometimes they don't get outfits for long times and periods of time. And I think they're probably I, AG's most popular like line. I think they have beautiful outfits. It's yeah. like, you know. And it's great learning lovely. about the time, period. the time periods and your history with your dolls, you know? Here is her window, which is very pretty. It's filled with costumes and stuff to get ready for a sh little show. She's got little makeup, mm -hmm. brushes, a mirror. Her little jewelry there. A trunk. You also got some like... Scripts. Yeah, and you also have little gloves. So cute. Her like, director's chair. I love how there's like a bunch of stuff in there. Mm -hmm. Her, it looks, this little hat looks exactly almost like her me tat which is super cute and there you have some i don't know if those are like books or magazines the theater oh i don't know probably magazines but it could be a book as well and then you have a phonograph and you got some buttons to interact all of the displays have little buttons to interact kind of in a way the next up is mary ellen she's from the 1950s she, another one of my favorites, I think they're all my favorites that I can't choose, but <laughs> I think 1950s, I love that they had big skirts and everything was kind of polka dot and bows, I think it's cool, and poodle skirts, I love it. I like that they put a girl poodle skirt and saddle shoes in the window, as well as the tables that kind of look similar to Mary Ellen's play set, like her living room set. Mm-hmm. And stuff from her story, like her dog and the red paint, and they put some posters, and you can help polio. And I like that they also tag stuff, so maybe if you didn't weren't familiar with the story, you could know what it was. And also be interested in reading the book. Yeah. Because, you know, kids might like pets or something like that and go, hey, I would like to read this. Yeah, just like, you know, in all of them, and I think that's cool. Mm -hmm. I love her uh, diner. Oh yeah, her diner's really cute. They did two versions, which is mm -hmm. kind of annoying because if you bought the first version, you couldn't get like the extras that came with the second. I mean, come on, people. Again, something that should have been a supplemental kit. You know, like, let's say you bought the first one, they should have just did add-ons for the first set. Then is Julie in 1974. Hey, Julie. Um. So anyway, <laughs> so you have the egg chair. I was surprised you still had the egg chair in there. Yeah, Julie didn't get a cool song. Yeah, I know. <laughs> hey, Julie. <laughs> and Groovy. I like her. Hey, Groovy. Let's see if we can make a song. <laughs> then I love her little window. It's cute. It like has like beads, like, like a, a bead butterflies. curtain. Cool. Yeah. It's super cool. I, I like for Julie little things about a story. But I like the co the colors. Like it's like you know if they had orange, funky they had patterns. orange and yellow, funky. Funky colors, those little funky... And the lava and, lamp. And they also had avocado green, but I don't see that. Yeah, the lava lamp and the uh, basketball for her story and basketball sneakers. And I think it's cool, but I, it was interesting because she originally didn't have a window. She just had an egg chair, which is where Courtney's arcade game is. Mm -hmm. Here's kind of an overview of the next two we're going to look at. We're going to look at Melody in 1964. And she's another cutie. I really like that her window is full of different things. Like you have her old radio, you have a little recording studio, and those that reel to reel is really cool looking at that. You also have some news articles about the Black History Banner and equal housing, equal rights. 
I also love the old timey headphones. You got a metronome, red suitcase that looks really realistic to from where the time period she was from. Mm -hmm. Some books that were around when she was a kid. And you got some little, a little garden in a wagon. And you even have a microphone, which is cute for the kid to interact with. She had, I don't, she had a few things missing. Not too much. She still had her studio and piano. Just like a few things. Here's the historical area. Like in the middle of the room, they had a bunch of displays, but they were all empty. The table where the 35th anniversary dolls were, they're not there anymore. You can still buy Kit. They had her on display, as well as Addie and Josefina. We'll show you a little bit later. Even though they're cute. Yeah, even though they're cute, you could buy them. Those were the dolls that were left. They didn't have any of the 35th anniversary ladies. Linnea, in 1941. I love her collection. Well, I love Hawaii, though. It's so pretty and tropical. Beautiful weather. I love all the flowers in her window. Mm -hmm. Like the lay, and you see letters. So cute. And you could be a little little in your face and Nenea's face. <laughs> yeah, this like a, a couple like a of these are like that. They're yeah. really cute. And there's our dog. There's Melee in the little hula skirt. So, so cute. cute. The <laughs> new the new Melee was not there and neither was her pajamas. The only pajamas that were new that they had was Mary Ellen, which was very surprising. I was shocked that they had just had Mary Ellen's. And no one else's. I'm not sure if they had everyone's and they sold out or they just had Mary Ellen's. If you want to see the new releases, you can look our line or check up our video. We'll leave an iCard above there. Here we have some of our costume items in our bag, which is really cool. And here you can press the different buttons. Yeah, like it would do different lighting, which was cool. And the radio light went on when you push one of them. I think that was cool. You it's could hear the radio. Yeah, it's a neat display. I hope they continue these displays. Yeah, in the in new the store. New place, yeah. yeah, Or make them even better. Oh yeah, that'd be awesome. Next up we have Kaya. And she looks adorable. I didn't really see much missing from her area. I think she deserves a new outfit. I haven't seen anything for her in a while. I really like their out, her Indian outfits. And I love just when they when they make them so detailed like with beads and little tassels and or just, bells yeah i really love them here's her little area where you would push buttons and look at her dog what's interesting is she never got a window i think it would have been cool to, for her to have a window mm -hmm. here we have Josefina. she's kind of right next to kaya's section and that's where you can buy her as well as her books and the one that's available is be forever version She's really pretty. They put her in the area once they use for the 35th anniversary, which I thought was funny. And there's Courtney, 1986. So, um, hey, and... Courtney. <laughs> song stuck in my head. Okay. <laughs> uh, so, anyways, they have a lot of her items, except for um, the jeans jacket and well, several most, pieces of the mix Yeah, and most of the mix and match from the first series. Mm -hmm. That was really... That went fast. Mm -hmm. And then a lot of her shelving was kind of just cleared of dolls mm -hmm. and and items. There. The and then there. we also had her pac man game, which was closed again in our last vlog. But they opened it, so now you can play it for as long as you want when you're waiting, you know. Or maybe <laughs> the husbands or the sons, you know, sometimes they get bored and they're like, they, they're, I totally see them around that all the time. People are always touching the game. It's cool. Yeah. I saw a lot of husbands and sons playing that. I, 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 it was cool. And you can have like two players, and it's really fun. I mean, and it's cool because the doll has also has this a mini version. Yeah. So you can see what it's like in like, you know, human version. And of course, girls. I was playing it. Yeah. What's wrong? Yeah. Well, <laughs> you can like you can like Pac-Man. It's really cool, uh -huh. and it's really uh, cool because it was a real thing, you know. Yeah. yeah. And I think it's uh, awesome, and I hope they have something like this again at the new AG store. And alas, we are leaving the American Girl place. We're going down the escalator to leave. Farewell. And it's super sad, but also hopeful for the new store. Let us know in the comments down below. We'd love to start a conversation with you. What are you hoping to see in the new store in Los Angeles? Or which room from this store was your favorite? Or you have the what memories from this store you have? We'd love to know. 
And we did end up getting one more doll from this place before they leave forever. Truly me, number 92. And we decided to name her Angel, kind of like after Los Angeles. And we hope to review her on our channel in the near future. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe, share this video with your dolly friends, and don't forget to ring that bell so you'll be notified when we do more videos. And don't forget to follow us on Instagram and focus on the cute. And Pinterest. To all who are still hanging on, we want to say a special thank you. We're almost at 500 subscribers. This is our 100th video. Thank you for joining us and thank you for subscribing. We really appreciate every single one of you, every single heart out there. And we really appreciate all your comments and it's really awesome to reach this milestone with all of you. Thank you everybody for watching and don't forget to join us next time as, as we focus on the cute. Bye. Bye bye everybody.